Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy Beauty here and I'm back with another uh, video. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you some affordable wedding dresses. And I actually chose an affordable wedding dress for my wedding. I got married recently in Tulum. And if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave it up above or down below. Check it out. There you guys will see which dress I picked. I won't tell you guys in this video, but you guys can see it in that vlog. All of these dresses I got from Lulu's and I will leave all of them linked down below. Guys, Lulu's is such an affordable website for clothing in general, but they actually have a bridal section and I was shocked to see the amazing selection that they had on there let's just get into the video if you guys are not already subscribed go ahead and click subscribe the first dress i'm going to show you guys is this beautiful white and nude lace dress so this is the you belong with me strapless lace dress i love this dress so much and guys it was 128 dollars like come on like a beautiful dress like this 128 like that's a steal this dress is absolutely stunning i got it in a size medium and it is true to size currently not wearing a bra with this but i would suggest wearing this with like some pink or a strapless push-up whatever you're comfortable with I would suggest wearing with it or if you don't need to you don't need to not like your typical traditional white dress but I really like that about this dress it is nude and it has a nude mesh but it does have the embroidered white threading which creates this like beautiful lace detail on the dress and it is a mermaid style what's great about this dress as well is that it has the no slip straps on the inside so it's not going to fall off it's really secure and snug the bodice is also darted and then it has the supportive boning on the inside so I really like this dress it makes you feel like really supported and really snug and I do have a bigger chest so I'm not afraid of like falling out of this dress if you understand what I mean so yeah I I really like it and it's very form-fitting I love how it fits and it also doesn't like squish your butt or anything I know some dresses will literally just make you look a little bit flat and it's not happening over here with this dress I'm actually on my tippy toes right now I'm about five six and a half, five, seven, five, six and a half, I'll say. And I'm on my tippy toes and it's still pretty long. So it's really nice. It's not too long where it's like dragging too much, but this is like the perfect dress. This dress is absolutely stunning. This is not a dress that I would have picked. I picked this dress last minute because I just wanted to see like what something different would have looked like on me. Now, and when it came, I actually like loved it. I was like, this is beautiful. Now I made my own bouquet for my wedding. So this is my actual bouquet that I used. I'm just gonna show you guys how this looks with the dress. Super beautiful. Ah! Okay, so this is the second dress. This is the make an entrance one shouldered dress. And guys, this was $78 actually. Super affordable. I love this dress. I love how simple it is and it is a one shoulder dress. That is why I kind of put my hair in this low bun and I just took out a few pieces. If you would do your hair a different way, feel free. But yeah, I just felt like my hair off of my shoulders would be a better option for this dress. So this one shoulder dress is absolutely beautiful. It's not like your typical one shoulder dress because it does have this little extra piece right here which gives it a little something extra um this is a princess bodice with a fitted waist it's a mermaid style dress and it is a medium thickness that means that it's not too thick but it's also not a thin material and it's just it's just right in my opinion it's not too heavy and it's really stretchy it's super stretchy like this is not a dress that will restrict you at all I got a medium and I think I could have still gotten a small but it fits perfectly fine as a medium it just it's really stretchy and it doesn't look cheap either because it's like double lined the material of it on the outside is super nice it's super luxe I'm filming by myself right now but I did need somebody else to come and just Pull it up a little bit more but it does fit really well but absolutely beautiful guys i'm on my tippy toes again and i love how it flows it's so pretty it can actually be in my opinion a bridal dress or it can be a bridesmaid dress it can go either way or even if you're doing your bridal shower you can wear this as well and like i said it's super stretchy this is how stretchy it is <laughs> Here's how the back looks, and it's really nice and flowy. It has a nice weight to it. It's a really solid dress, honestly. Really, really solid, really structured. I feel like there is a little bit of gappiness right here, so 
The thing is with these dresses are so affordable even if you have to get them altered not a problem because they're basically next to nothing so yeah getting it altered wouldn't be a problem and I'd also say if you want to wear a shapewear underneath just to look extra flawless and seamless um, I would do so so again under this I'm not wearing a bra I do have on sticky adhesive pasties and that's it so you can definitely do that or if you want to wear like some type of strapless I don't know how, how a strapless would work with this but whatever you can make work work <laughs> I like how there's no gap at the back it just really does fit and it's so nice guys it's such a simple like elegant dress and I really like it Alright guys, third dress and I actually changed my hair again for this dress, just a little something, you know. This is called the Forever Radiant Backless Dress. Now guys, this dress is a absolute stunner. It's here to make an entrance. It should have been called the Make an Entrance Dress, but it's not. It's a Forever Radiant. And this dress was actually $108. So picking dresses online, it's a little bit hard because you're trying to see what this dress will look like on yourself and sometimes you can't even see what the actual material is and that was the case for this dress i had no idea that there was going to be little small sequence um covering the whole entire dress so i guess that's why they called it the forever radiance i thought that the material had a little shimmer to it but not actual sequence so i'm not mad at it to be honest um it's not my favorite material and I'm not like a huge fan of sequins to be honest but it's not very noticeable it does have like a glimmer shimmer to it I'm not sure if the camera is really picking it up um, how I'm seeing it in person but it is a beautiful dress nonetheless this dress hugs your figure like nothing else okay so it has a darted bodice it hugs your figure and it has a really low back with a knot detail this dress is a little bit more on the edgy side like if you're not going for that super traditional super modest type of dress because the back is really low and I love that to be honest the straps are also adjustable so that is a good you can actually get it a little bit tighter the only thing I would say about this dress is that you can only adjust it to how big your arm is so if your arm is a little bit bigger you're limited to how much you can adjust it like I can't even fully adjust it how much I want like I can probably go up a little bit more but it's all right because the more you adjust it is the higher it goes the star of the show with this dress is the back oh my gosh like I love the back of this dress so much it's so like sultry so sexy and I really like it and I love the fact that it's really stretchy too. This dress has a lot of stretch, so it's really form-fitting, really hugs your curves, and it has this like really nice knot detailing in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it that great, but it has a really nice like knot detailing in the back. And another thing is this train, okay? I love the train that's at the back of the dress. It has a drop seam, which means that the seam down here is coming down a little bit more, um, and then it comes up a little bit higher right here. So it really does add like a nice little touch. I love this dress so much. I'm going to stand on my tippy toes, but you guys can kind of see it in the mirror dragging. It's not like a super long train, so I think it's really nice. It's not going to be really annoying to drag around with you or drag behind you. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I just love how it fits my body, okay? It is definitely something that you can wear, and it's really beautiful. I love the back. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the back. It's the perfect amount of train at the back, honestly. I love it so much. And even though it does have the plunge at the back, it's not super deep. Yes, it is deep, but not that deep, okay? So you'll be able to live. I love it. Um, I'm going to kind of turn down the light a little bit so you guys can kind of see what I mean by the sequence material. Even though it is sequence, it does give like a nice little glisten to the dress. So the fourth and last dress, guys, is the love and happiness dress. Now, this dress is really simple, really cute, but it's not for me. This will not be one of my options for my wedding day. The specs on this dress, it is a woven fabric with a very stretchy lining. It has adjustable spaghetti straps 
and it's a v-neck with a princess seam bodice but what i loved about this dress and why i even picked it out is because i love the back button detailing um, it has a hidden zipper right where the buttons are so the buttons are just decoration which is great you don't have to button up all of these buttons but yeah the material on this dress it feels really like it does feel woven but silky at the same time and this is what i meant when i said it doesn't really fit that great it's a little bit gappy in the front and then also the area here where my boobs are it just needs to be taken in a little bit more there the waist area would have to be taken in that's for sure the bust area would have to be taken in the waist would have to be taken in i'm just gonna hold it a little bit tighter so you guys can kind of see a little bit of the back there but this is what i really liked about the dress i really do like the um skirt of the dress i like how flowy it is and it's not heavy at all it's actually probably the lightest dress that i tried on like the material is extremely lightweight and it it's just so light and so comfortable it feels very much like a summery type of dress and I really like it, it's just that I like it, but I also don't like that it's super simple and I don't like how much alterations I would have had to do to this dress. But again, I'm not saying the dress is a bad dress, it's just not a dress for me. So yeah, at least you guys get to kind of see how it looks. And then of course I had to do it with the bouquet so you guys kind of get a better feel of the dress. But it's a really simple, really like easy dress to put together. You can do simple accessories and if, if you're somebody who doesn't like to be too fussy or anything, definitely this dress is something that I would recommend. And it was $98, so it's amazing. So this is the end of the video remember all of the links to the dresses are down below i'm also considering selling the four dresses that i have um they're all a size medium if you guys are interested also remember to check out my tulum vlog to see which dress i actually picked to get married in okay go ahead and check out that vlog and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye